It was the year 1953. Some members of the All Ceylon Women's Conference, led by Mrs. Sylvia Fernando, formed a movement called the Family Planning Association, the FBA. Thus, Ceylon, the present Sri Lanka, became one of the first countries of the world to help rural poor through family planning education, coupled with family planning services. What was the real need for family planning in the country? A pioneering volunteer of the FBA, Mrs. Leela Basnaika says, The FBA was founded with 15 volunteers. The first family planning clinic was opened in September 1953 at the Desoiza Hospital for Women in Colombo. It was meant to help mothers who delivered too many children at too frequent intervals. It also helped women without children. Dr. Ms. Sivachi Natambi was the doctor in charge. I was working as a volunteer in the clinic. One day, a woman with eight children came for her ninth delivery. I explained to her how a tenth delivery could be avoided if she so desired. She said, Madam, I wanted to stop it when I delivered my third child. We are so poor. Why weren't we told about it then? I thought it was my fate. Please help me if you could. I remember another incident at the Dean's Road Clinic. A woman of about 45 years was pregnant, but she did not believe it. When she was finally convinced by the doctor in charge, she wanted an abortion. I explained that abortion was illegal and she should deliver her baby at the right time. Still wanting an abortion, she confided in me her problem. My only daughter is getting married in three months and I would be fully pregnant by then. How could I face my relatives and friends and those of her husbands on the wedding day as a pregnant mother? Another founding member, Professor C.C. De Silva, made this note in one of his record books. Mrs. Sylvia Fernando was the founding honorary secretary of the FBA. She was supported by Dr. Mary Ratnam, the first president of the association. We had some very dedicated volunteers in Dr. Augusta Abe Ratnam, Dr. P.R. Tyagaraja, Dr. Siva Chinathambi, and Professor D.A. Ranasinghe, to name only a few. Our message to the young parents attending our clinics was that children should be by choice, but not by chance and that small families have fewer problems. Our affiliation with the International Planned Parenthood Federation, the IPPF in London in 1954 was of great significance. We were one of the first 20 FPAs in the world to join the IPPF. In 1954, the government recognized the services of the FPA with an annual grant of 2,500 rupees. The grant was increased to 10,000 rupees in 1956 and to 75,000 rupees in 1958. FPA expenses were met through these grants and the IPPF grants. Membership subscriptions and the donations from well-wishers, including the Swedish government, also helped. Dr. Siva Chinathambi, a pioneer in family planning, was also the honorary medical director of the FPA for 20 years. I remember that in 1960, when we commenced the oral contraceptive trials at Ragama Hospital, Ceylon became the first country in Asia to start the use of the contraceptive pill. The father of the pill, Dr. Gregory Pincus himself, was assisting us as FPA medical staff and volunteers. Our volunteers travelled from house to house encouraging women in slums and shanties to attend our clinics. When the demand for services increased, we opened our own clinic at our headquarters in Horton Place, Colombo 7. We even had a mobile clinic to provide family planning services to people in rural areas and in the estate 
and industrial sectors. Such services included even vasectomy. According to Mrs. Phyllis Dissanayake, another outstanding volunteer who later served the association as the honorary secretary for over 10 years. We handed over 264 clinics to the government, retaining the headquarters clinic and a few clinics in Colombo and the suburbs. Our success was due to the quality of our services, thanks to the commitment of our volunteers, like Mr. MHM Nainamarika, Mrs. Connie Valikala, Mrs. Leela Basnayaka, Professor Nandadasa Kodakuda, Mr. V.C. De Silva, and Mrs. S.R. Kotegoda, among many others. In 1970, the FPA was incorporated under the company's ordinance. According to the new constitution, the National Council and the Executive Committee members were elected annually, with a wider membership of volunteers participating in the activities of the association. With the appointment of Daya Abebekrama to the new post of the Executive Director, the management relied on an experienced administrator for the FPA. The Executive Director was assisted by divisional heads responsible for implementing the field programs as planned by the Project Advisory Committees. Thus, the FPA worked with grassroots level rural volunteers to inform and educate the public at large on family planning from Mathara to Jaffna and from Negamba to Batiklo, covering all districts of the country. With the formation of the Youth and Population Committee in 1975, the FPA Sri Lanka became one of the first few FPAs in the IPPF system to mobilize the young people to educate their peers on reproductive health issues. In the inaugural year, four youth members were elected to the National Council. The Youth Committee won the IPPF's Founders Award in 1977, carrying 10,000 US dollars for the best youth project on family life education meant to promote reproductive health in the Yattapartha Youth Settlement Scheme of Sri Lanka. The FPASL celebrated its Silver Jubilee in March 1978 with an international congress to support and promote family planning. To mark the 27 years of continued family planning services to the country, the association issued a postal stamp in 1981. One of the most effective programs of the FPA during its second 25 years of operation has been the community-based contraceptive distribution. It was started by IPPF in 1973 and continues even in the 50th year as a national program managed by the association. The project on family life education through Women's Forum was later developed as community-based rural family health project and still later as Praja Shanti. At the annual conventions, thousands of rural volunteers met together and planned their programs for the future. The medical and research services have always been a high priority for the FPA Sri Lanka, servicing the family planning needs of all people attending its headquarters clinic. The estates, industrial and public service sectoral programs helped people in those services with access to family planning information and services. The association also supported the ministries of all governments in power through family planning training, IEC, surveys and research. The training centre in Nainamadama provides residential training facilities for 50 trainees at a time. The Aloke Youth Counselling Centre and the permanent exhibition at headquarters enhance the knowledge level of the adolescents and the youth on reproductive health issues. The full-length movie Yuatipati, produced to project the role of family planning for a happily married life, received a merit award at the National Film Festival. The IPPF's Regional Resource Development Award and the first ever International Vision 2000 Award were both won by the FPASL. The latter was awarded to FPA Executive Director Daya Abhivikrama in recognition of his outstanding contribution and extraordinary achievements in the advancement of the IPPF's Vision 2000 goals and objectives. 
These are some of the glimpses of a 50-year historic perspective of the FBA Sri Lanka. They were made possible through the dedication, the courage and the foresight of the leadership of the volunteers of the FBA. The dynamism of the in-house staff of the FBA was another contributory factor. Together they worked to cause the most spectacular change in the family life of the people of Sri Lanka by introducing family planning to them as a way of life. Fifty years ago, windows and doors were slammed in the faces of FBA volunteers. Today, men and women, married or unmarried, enter the gates of the FBA clinics every day, determined to improve the quality of their family life through family planning. A mission with a vision of 50 years for the FBA Sri Lanka, fulfilled in abundance.